Welcome to American Times instructions on replacing a mechanical movement with the AllSync Plus kit. The replacement kit comes with the parts shown here. Here are the tools you'll need for this installation. In this demonstration, the old dust cover and motor have already been removed from the clock. Flip the back plate so it's face down on your cushion or pillow. Next, put the adapter plate on. The plate only fits on one way. Note the two studs that go into each hole to protect against rotation. Hold the adapter plate as you turn over the clock. Next, pick up the adapter bushing that has the larger shoulder. Make sure you compare it with the other bushing and choose the larger one. The smaller size won't work on a plastic clock. Holding onto the bushing, flip the clock over. Pick up the movement for installation. Place the movement in between the two raised shoulders here. These shoulders prevent the movement from rotating. Hold onto the movement and turn the clock face up. Install the center mounting nut like this. Using a half-inch nut driver to tighten it, be sure not to over-tighten. Next, we'll install the hands. We'll put the hour hand on first and point it towards 12. Use a quarter-inch nut driver to press that on tightly. Line up the minute hand and press it on. You don't need a tool for this. Use the spacer provided for the sweep hand. Press it on, and then press on the sweep hand. Ensure all the hands are evenly spaced. Make sure all the hands point to 12 o'clock. Lay the crystal and bezel down on the cushion or pillow. Flip the clock over. Note the three tabs to use when snapping in the bezel. One tab will snap in when you push gently on the bezel. For the remaining two tabs, use a flat screwdriver and put it between the tab and the back plate. Push it outwards like this, but be careful. The tabs on a plastic clock are often brittle and can break off. Now remove the pin that locks the gears. Select the male end of the Molex plug and insert it into the base of the dust cover. Attach the multicolored cable, making sure the green and yellow wires are up. Also, attach the ground wire. Use the provided screw and one of the provided nuts. The wire should go on the inside. For kit 02, the ground wire should be down. Thread it on and tighten it up. Now we have our wires installed. The all sync movement arrives with the standard 120 volt power or run and 120 volt core or correction. Here, you'll see the default pin placement for run and correction. The jumpers can be repositioned for 120 volt run and 24 volt correction. Like this. Or they can be repositioned for 24 volt run and 24 volt correction. If needed, adjust the run and correction. Turn the dust cover over and pull the wire into the movement with the green and yellow wires up. Attach the ground wire to the third stud on the adapter plate using one of the provided nuts.
Use a 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten it. Now tuck the wires into the dust cover and set the cover on the remaining studs. Thread the nuts on the studs. Use a 5 16 inch nut driver to tighten it. You've now assembled a simplex clock with an AllSync Plus Zero 2 conversion kit. For more do-it-yourself videos, visit American-Time.com.